Welcome to Watchnut TV and another edition of What's in the Box. We're reviewing Cousteau. The name Cousteau is derived from the Latin Guardian. And when these watches first came out in 2004, I wondered how such a young man in the form of Sassoon Sermakes could or had the means to start up such a high-end watch company out of what seemed like nowhere until I did a little research and found that his father is Vertan Sermakes, who is the CEO of the Frank Mueller Group, and is kind of a hard-nosed businessman and was one who forced Frank Mueller to take a back seat in his own company some years ago. So, anyway, mystery solved. Anyway, let's take a look at this. This is really an interesting watch. Um, this is the Challenge R Chrono ST. Um, R is a term they use to define the simply the case, which is a round case. Um, sorry, this is a little bit hard to photograph because of the dome crystal, but we'll see if we can't get it a at least a halfway decent review of the piece on, on video. Uh, this watch is a is in a 42 millimeter by 17 millimeter thick stainless black DLC case. And primarily a lot of the thickness comes just from the size of the dome crystal. Uh, the pushers and the crown are actually polished titanium and through the use of some special seals they actually get 100 meters of water depth rating out of this watch. Uh, it is a, uh, as, you might, as it looks like, it is a three register chronograph uh, with the power reserve feature. Um, the primary chronograph dials are at 12 and 6. The power reserve indicator is located at the 3 o'clock position and the sub-second style is located at the 9 o'clock position. You can't really see it very well. This is actually um, this is one of their all black watches which means the move, a lot of the, the plates and the bridges in the movement are actually DLC black as well. So in fact this is a skeleton dial but you really don't see the effects very much of being able to see into the movement because a lot of it's, as I said before, black. Kind of come around here and see, see if I can get you a little bit better image of the movement itself. The rotors on these watches are titanium with tungsten weights, so it actually, although the rotor itself is very lightweight, the tungsten balance weights give it the force it needs to move and wind the watch. You can see some of the black plates and things in here. Yeah, it's a really nicely finished watch. Um, it is on a rubber strap that is long enough for a gorilla. I mean, this, is, <laughs> this I mean, my whole hand goes through this thing. So it's designed obviously to be cut down uh, on either side and then repinned into the clasp. Very nice button lock folding clasp um, with a nice little Cousteau emblem on it. Um, this is a new watch. This has never been worn, obviously. That's why this bracelet is so huge. It's never been sized. Um, it uses, the, as I mentioned, the, the Cousteau 577 automatic movement, um, which includes, if you can see it, a date feature as well as the power reserve and the chronograph. Uh, it's actually a very nice watch. I've never had the experience to review one before. Um, they're fairly expensive watches, but on the other hand, they're really quite interesting. And this is not yet posted on our website, but I will have it posted and for sale in the next few days. So uh, if you'd like to see more about it, uh, give me a few days to get it posted and priced and you can have a look at some of the close-up photographs, which are probably going to be better than what I can get on video. So thanks for watching.